Hello Cancer, this is Leonard with Lingonberry Tea Tarot and I'm doing your tarot reading for the month of January for your love reading. I'm sorry I took a few weeks off just to collect myself and go through all the astrological changes that was happening and now that the full moon is gone along with the um, lunar eclipse I am feeling a little bit better, but my voice is still acting up. Um, but for your oracle cards, for your love life for the month of January, I have adult children and forgiveness. So there may be some sort of situation with your adult children that you need to forgive them for. But for the rest of your love life, there's going to be a lot of passion and embrace in your life. Um, act as if your partner is here, and the heart of the matter is that they love you. So that is your oracle cards, and I am going to pull from the Druid Craft Tarot and see what we have. Um, so I'm going to do a block of six, and then we'll go from there. So... What do we have for Cancer for the month of January in love? We have a few extra cards, but there definitely is going to be a new beginning with the Ace of Pentacles here. It's something that you weren't expecting, so you have your guard up, especially with the Seven of Wands here. But this person is definitely coming in as a Prince of Cups. Or it might be you offering this cup of love to whoever's coming in. And whoever this is, they may want a higher level of commitment with you, with the High Priest here. It's somebody that you've been waiting for, and it's definitely the new beginning that you've been wanting in your life with the Ace of Wands. So let's see what these two are. You're no longer going to be waiting, and you are definitely done being in such a depressed mood, trying to figure out, is somebody going to come um, towards me. Am I going to love again? And these two cards in the reverse are saying yes, that you are. You are no longer needing to decide on whether or not if you're going to go for something, go for love in your life. And you are definitely no longer going to have to, um, have those late nights of just wondering, is somebody going to come towards me? Because this is a wish fulfillment. It's ending your burdens. The wheel is coming back around in order to bring you this offer. Where you previously weren't looking for love, you were dwelling on the past and in the heart, heartache. And it's love that's definitely coming in very quickly with the chariot. And it's going to be equal give and take with the justice card here. You also might be dealing with a Libra. But let's use the universal Celtic tarot to see if we can clarify some of these cards. So why is the Ace of Pentacles here? Okay. You've made your decision. You are going towards what brings you happiness. So why is the Seven of Wands here? You have your guard up because you have two offers coming in. One from a page of pentacles and one from a page of wands. So it's like, 
oh my God, am I going to have somebody come into my life? Am I going to love again? And you have this. So the universe is saying, yes, you will have somebody, especially with the Prince of Cups here as well. <laughs> it could be somebody who is younger than you. Definitely younger than you. Could be why you have your adult children <laughs> as part of your first two cards. And it, could, it may just be your children in general if you do have children. <laughs> like, Mom, Dad, they're almost my age. What the hell are you doing? <laughs> And you have the Knight of Cups here. So, um, whoever this is, they are definitely coming in very quickly with this Cup of Love. So why is the Prince of Cups here? Tell us about the Prince of Cups. While you are in woe is me, is somebody ever going to come in, you finally get balance in your life in order for this Prince of Cups to come in. For these two, possibly three, princes to come into your life. Princes, pages, same thing. So why is the High Priest coming? Knock that with my thumb, so sorry about that. <laughs> Let's see if they pop back up upright. So why is the high priest here? That's a lot of cards. Okay. I'll take the top three and then I'll put the rest back. See if they come back up. So the high priest is here saying that there is somebody who is very much in love with you. Somebody who is lusting after you. Somebody who wants to build a new foundation with you. Who wants to have, have it all with you? Who's tired of waiting, um, but sees that you are walking away from your old situation? So they are definitely coming in. And it might be three admirers that you have in your life. Um, one of them is an emperor, one of them is your ten of cups, and one of them is your past. So, regardless of who these three people are, there's definitely going to be a strong connection with them. So why is the three of wands here? They're spying on you. They're tired of waiting. All three of them. <laughs> they want to come in with their Ace of Cups. Because you are their Empress. To all three of them. So why is the Ace of Wands here? Because they're coming in quickly with the chariot. Death is ending one cycle and bringing in a new one. 
And there's the three people who are coming in. Possibly a fourth, fifth. <laughs> a little macabre, but... Um, and with your heartache, don't be too harsh with your words. Allow the music to help you. Because each of them are coming in as a Knight of Pentacles. And you're not using your higher intuition on this one with the High Priestess in reverse. You are kind of holding on to your feelings, but we do have the Page of Cups here. <clears throat> so let's see if we can get any other advice for Cancer for the month of January in love. Way too many cards at the bottom. Put those back. And of course, we've got way too many cards now. Okay. And I'm pretty sure it's the same freaking pile. <laughs> Okay, so this is you making a decision on this page of wands who's coming in, who's coming in very loving. You have your guard up. Your page of pentacles is coming in with their cup of love. And you are on the defensive. <laughs> You're not looking for anything. But you're acting the fool, wanting to end your burdens, and everybody looks at you and sees the sun and speaks their truth and wants to offer you their two of cups. So, all three are still here wanting to offer you something. And death is bringing an end to an old cycle. So, that is the reading, Cancer. You have three suitors, whether you like it or not. And I wish you the best of luck in choosing whoever it is, because all of them are a better option than what you currently have. But that's totally up to you. Because <laughs> um, you have the power to choose whatever you want in your life regardless of what I pull from these cards. But I wish you the best of luck, and I will see you again next time. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe down below, and I'll see you again later. Laters.